welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Check out the fashion style of the Bucks as they enter the building. Bring out the red carpet. Hi everyone, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. From the sideline, we'll have David Aldridge. We'll be hearing from him in just a moment. Hey, Dave. Well, thanks very much. Now, you know Giannis Adentacumpo has one of sports' best nicknames, the Greek Freak. He said, when I first heard it, I was like, what's going on? Why am I a freak now? But then I realized it was about my athleticism and the things I can do. And so I embrace the nickname. I love it. And it's a part of me now. Kevin? It's a terrific one. David, thanks. He does stand out. Wow. <laughs> And with these teams, Brent, we have a couple of the deepest rosters in the NBA, and not many coaches can go as far down the bench as these two. Well, a major advantage if you have multiple guys that you have tremendous confidence in to go out there and be switchable, be able to pass, move, and initiate the offense. That's a luxury for a lot of coaches to be able to adapt that way. Now, the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis and go. Lopez hold down the post for them. Holiday and Allen have guard duties, and it's Middleton in at the small forward. And for the Nuggets, out on the perimeter, it's Caldwell Pope and Porter Jr. Gordon steps in at the four with Jokic in at center, and it's Murray in at the point guard position. Now here's Giannis, just five on the clock. You know, Brent, hard to believe that back in 2017, Giannis was winning most improved players. It's been unbelievable growth, and it seems so long ago that Giannis came into this league. We've been inundated with Attentacubo highlights in the biggest moment that the league has to offer, winning an MVP in the league, a finals MVP, and there's no question that Giannis has grown into one of the best that has ever played for the Milwaukee Bucks, and maybe one of the best ever. And the first one drops. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguardable. Both free throws, good for Giannis. I think it's pretty clear, Greg, what the goal is for this Denver organization long term. It's simple, Kevin. Make it to the finals. The Nuggets have never been there. They've been close reaching a conference finals on more than one occasion. Now here's Murray. Shot from free throw range. And it goes down two points. Murray finding himself in that mid-range position. He doesn't pull a lot from there, but he's capable. Giannis passes to Holiday. Back to Giannis. Here's Allen. And here's Middleton. Dishes it to Giannis. Nice pass. Right under the rack perfectly for the layup. Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this. One. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And hey, what a career Caldwell Pope has had for this one. He's been such a great complimentary guard. He takes care of the ball. He shoots well all over the floor. He's a three-point threat. He certainly accepts the responsibility and the challenge defensively. He's carved out a career, and it's going to get longer. The first free throw is good. Yeah, much improved foul shooter. KCP 
also starting to get to the line at a higher rate. Catching up on the changes for Denver. Ryan, he's checked in for Jokic. Green comes in for Aaron Gordon. Bruce Brown, he's checked in for Porter. And it's Ish Smith in for Jamal Murray. And Caldwell Pope drops them both. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Carter outside. Pass to Connaughton. Back to Carter. On the pass to Portis. Crowder with it. Over Green. Off target with the jump hook. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Nuggets. Here's Brown. The shot misses. Great D that time from Portis. Outside Carter. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. It's all tied in Denver. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. quarter of play and when you consider how Denver is doing guys what are your thoughts stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter they were just getting up into people just a, a great job really of making the game ugly trying to muck it up a little bit out there I've heard it said Greg a coach can't give you confidence but they can take it away What's the meaning behind that? Well, players at this level are naturally confident, but when coaches are always critical, it can take you out of your game. Make sure you just start to think a little too much on the floor. The forward spots will be Porter Jr. and Gordon. Bruce Brown is out there with Murray, and it's Jokic in at the center. That's the group for Denver getting going here in the second. Greg, looking at the shooting numbers of Michael Porter Jr., they're off the charts. I mean, his first full year in the league, Porter Jr. was top 20 in field goal percentage, top 10 in three-point percentage. Incredible numbers for a 6'10 wing. Yeah, you could throw that pass just about anywhere, even the top of the square for Giannis to go and get. Pass to Brown. Denver passing it around. Package against Murray. The kick out to Brown. And a wide open look for Porter. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Middleton outside. Over Porter. Off the left rim and out. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Jogic finds Murray. On the wing, Gordon. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray with an instinctual play there. He has that ability. You can see the play. It evolves, and then he makes a quick decision. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drop. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Now here's Lopez. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Kept alive. For him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. There are only two players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Under the combo against Gordon. With four seconds on the clock, under the combo, no good. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Nuggets ahead. They lead by a bucket. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Here with Mike Blutenholzer. Bud, what are you looking to... All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm a pretty close game from the Nuggets throughout the first quarter. The period wrapped up with the teams on level. <laughs> and that'll... And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You look at Anna Dekumbo really making a difference here. 
I don't know if there's anything that the lead can do to slow him down. He, he's just that good. Yeah, avalanche warning in this one. He is just on a roll. And so it's Jokic with the ball. He brings it up for the Nuggets. The lead is two. And on the floor for Mike Budenholzer, starting the second half. Sharing the wing spots, it's Allen and Middleton. Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for him. And it's Holiday in at the point. And here's Holiday following the three-pointer from Contavious Caldwell Pope. Kicks it out to Allen. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Something that stands out about the Bucks is their versatility in their offensive package. I mean, they use penetration, they shoot the three, whatever it takes to beat a good defense. And that's such good work to make this a one possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. Caldwell Pope passed to Murray. Allen against Caldwell Pope. To the middle. Pass to Jokic over Lopez. And it's blocked! And he keeps control of the ball. Here's Giannis. And that one is good. Giannis the kumbo has got four this quarter. So hard to stop down low. Giannis gets around the basket and feels like within eight feet he's going to dunk just about anything. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Here's Middleton following the basket by Contavious Caldwell Pope. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Giannis has got 12. And more and more the confidence of Giannis to be one of those go-to scorers. We're seeing those signs. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. And coaches looking to seize every advantage maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. So Denver ends up going with a whole new group. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Bobby Portis has checked in for Lopez. Pat Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton. Matthews, he's checked in for Allen. And it's Carter in for Drew Holiday. Now here's Green. There's Brown with the three. Drills it from outside. Brown's got his first bucket in the game, and he's on the board for three. Under Kumbo with the ball. A floater. He lays it in. He's got 14. Well, that was delicate there from Giannis. I like that floater because that becomes unblockable given the massive length. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Nuggets lead by two. And we'll get going after this from Ball Arena. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. They've got Green. Jackson is out there with Bruce Brown. And there's Bryant. It's Naji in at the four. This group on the four for Denver. Some toughness that Portis brings to the court. He's willing to finish through contact. Outside Jackson. Green finds Jackson. Bryant gets a wide open look. And a miss there on the triple. And it's Milwaukee's ball. Need to take the lead. And up to Kumbo. Lays it in. Well, you have to do way more than that to stop the MVP. Giannis just determined. Here's Jackson. Outside, Bryant. Denver passing it around. Najee passes to Jackson. Clock at four. Shoots over Portis. Jackson misses. Milwaukee in the lead. Carter outside. 
Dish now to Antetokounmpo. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Big trip for Yusuf. Who's normally at the stride. He's better in the pressure moment. Sticking to his method for free throws. Obviously, he's changed that a little bit, but his confidence remains high. So Denver ends up going with a whole new group. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Lopez, he's checked in for Bobby Portis. Chris Middleton comes in for Ben Connaughton. Allen's checked in for Wesley Matthews. And it's Drew Holiday in for Cook. up making the second and that makes it a three-point lead how is it that Giannis always seems fired up I mean this guy has a true enthusiasm for the game and for competition he just delivers night in and night out that's what makes him a star Denver calls timeout they're down by three 50 seconds left in the game and now we present our new balance player of the game Drew Holiday and I love that it's been a hard charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Old. David. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Mike Malone had some words for his team during the break. He told them, hey, this game is there for you, but we got to go get it. 50-50 balls. Get into the basket. We have to give it all right now. Kevin? Thank you, David. Time, time, time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They trail by three. 23 seconds left to play in the final quarter. What's your take, guys? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Don't force something up. You got to be smart here. Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. They trail by three. Deep two from Murray. Rebounded by the Bucks. So they no, foul intentionally. Yeah, you, you can't let him hold the ball. It's just no close to five seconds away. Second team foul. Shooting for Milwaukee. Drew Holiday. Taking two shots. First one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And Holiday doesn't get easily rattled. He has a calm personality that helps him in big moments. And so both free throws are good, and it's a five-point game. Ooh, I think that's a wrap, and I can tell you, you can't have more pressure-packed free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game. For three, Caldwell Pope. The shot comes out. And so the Bucks take the win. A That's truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. 